U.S. astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who went to the International Space Station some months ago, are not coming back anytime soon. They were supposed to be in space for exactly one week, and now it's been over 81 days with the end not really in sight. Why are we showing you pictures of Elon Musk? I'll tell you. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who've been stuck in space now at the International Space Station for 81 days because of the Boeing crew capsule malfunctioning and not being prepared to bring them back safely just yet, will now only return to Earth sometime early next year. NASA has announced that in the meantime, while they're conducting tests on the Boeing Starliner to make sure it's completely safe to bring back the two astronauts from the International Space Station, Elon Musk's SpaceX could be on standby to bring back the two astronauts using his own crew capsule called the Crew Dragon in February 2025. After Boeing's Starliner experienced serious technical glitches, making it deemed unsafe for Sunita and Butch to return in, NASA has decided to bring back the spacecraft without its crew, leaving Sunita and Butch at the International Space Station. NASA is now considering Plan B, where Sunita and her co-host astronaut Butch will make their way possibly back home on an Elon Musk-owned SpaceX Crew-9 mission sometime in February next year. Now, all of this is still in the air. It's not confirmed just yet. It's one of the possibilities. The mission slated for four astronauts will now take only two astronauts to space, so the capsule has seats to bring back Sunita and Butch. What started as originally an eight-day-long space mission has turned eight months long. India Today spoke exclusively with Russian cosmonaut Sergei Korsakov, who spoke about the time when he was stuck in space for nearly six months. Here's what he told us. Uh, let me also ask you this question. Sunita Williams, the astronaut, mm -hmm. uh, she's in space. There was an issue with Starliner, mm -hmm. and uh, many debates are coming up claiming that it might be a crisis or it could be something that needs to be worried. Is that so, or is she all right? Um, they are all right, astronauts are all right, and all the crew is uh, all right, and I believe that any issue will be solved. So uh, I believe in the success of their mission. So in, ca in case the Starliner does not work, Soyuz or Dragon uh, crew, uh, crew thing can be used to bring her back? I guess space agencies uh, think about every possibility to use Dragon or Soyuz, so they will make the best decision they could. Eight days have turned into 81 days and could turn into eight months before Sunita and Butch are brought back safely from the International Space Station. Elon Musk's SpaceX is planning a mission in February 2025 and is standing by to get orders to bring them back. This is truly a story that involves us all because these are two brave astronauts who went up into space on a mission that was supposed to last just a little over a week but are now pretty much for all practical purposes out there with a little bit of uncertainty over how and when they're going to be brought back safely. Take a look. Sunita Williams stranded in space till 2025 and there are serious concerns now about her health. The NASA astronaut will in all likelihood come back to Earth only in February 2025 after her ride to space, the Boeing Starline developed technical issues. What was meant to be a seven-day journey has become a long wait in space now. And this long stay in space could have serious repercussions on William's health, both physical and mental. Experts worry that Sunita would suffer from bone weakness and be exposed to high radiation for long periods of time. And needless to say, the mental effects of being in space for so many months is also a concern. Anxiety and loneliness, experts opine, could kick in. It's not just Sunita, but also Butch Wilmore, who's currently stranded, and they will have to count on each other to keep spirits up. 
Although the International Space Station, a $150 billion flying laboratory above Earth, is well equipped with living facilities, sleeping quarters and even a gym, an artificial environment away from the protection of the home planet is always challenging, as shown by Sunita herself years ago. You actually have sort of the bird's eye view of where Butch's eyes were. Right now on the display we actually have a tablet because while we're in the space station we're doing some other activities on the tablet. We also have controls to fly the spacecraft. We have a rotational hand controller and actually behind the camera might be a little bit hard is a translational hand controller and that's how we uh, were able to fly the spacecraft. Three red flags arise. The high radiation levels in space, in one week, Sunita will be exposed to one year's worth of radiation on Earth and in some parts the radiation in space is 30 times higher than on Earth. Second is bone weakness due to months of zero gravity which means more exertion on bones and muscle. This can lead to serious risk of injury and Sunita will have to be doubly careful. And finally, mental health issues. Considering Sunita was scheduled for a seven-day journey to space, that's now become completely unpredictable. Interestingly, Sunita Williams is currently going round the Earth at a speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour. And so, in a matter of eight months, when she starts her return back to Earth, she will be 0.01 seconds younger than anyone on Earth born at the exact time and date as her. NASA is now doing everything they can to figure out Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's homecoming and let's hope the return happens at the earliest. Bureau Report, India Today.